Hi everyone, this is Allie from Kidzu, and I have Mallory with me today. Have you ever slid down a plastic slide and noticed your hair standing on end? Have you ever gone to grab a metal doorknob and got a little shock? Do you know what causes that? It's called static electricity, and January 9th is Static Electricity Day. To celebrate, we're going to be making this simple tool that detects this invisible force, static electricity, that is all around us. We'll be using a kit from the National Informal STEM Education Network. The tool we're going to be building today is called an electroscope. It is a simplified version of the tool that scientists use to study static electricity uh, here on Earth and in space. Uh, it was first invented over 300 years ago when people were first starting to study and understand electricity. So for directions on how to build an electroscope, you can go look at the static electricity kit on the NISENET website, or you can follow along with us today. I'll be putting my instructions here so I can follow them. So we're gonna build another one of these. Okay, so to start, I have a copper wire. It is about eight inches long, and we need to curl one end of the wire. Do you wanna try that, Mallory? Yeah. I'm gonna give you this pencil because I think it might make it easier for you to curl. Can you just kind of wrap it around there a couple of times? Okay. Kind of like making a little spiral. <laughs> you let me help you. How about I help you get started? And then you finish it. You keep wrapping that end around. Good job. That looks good. Yeah. Maybe give it another couple of wraps. Okay. Looks good enough to me. All right, number two. So we need to make a small hook on the other end. I think you could just bend that little end over to make a little hook. Yeah. Kind of like a little fish hook. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just going to make it a little bit narrower because we're going to have to fit it in this bottle in a little bit. There we go. Okay. We'll set that wire. Make sure it's nice and straight here. We'll set that wire aside. And now we need to cut two small uh, foil rectangles from tin foil, And they're going to be about two inches by half an inch. Now I actually did this ahead of time, so we have them here. You want to hold that one? Yeah. And then this one here. So what we actually need to do first is to make sure that they're as flat as possible. Okay, so we're just going to, you do that one, I'll do this one. So we're just going to flatten it on the table. Okay. And then without bending them, see if we can put them on here, but keep, but keep them nice and flat. I'm going to hook them on there. No? I hit the hole on You want to do that one? It's from a hole punch. You could also just poke it with like a pencil or something sharp. Okay, stick that on there. Good. Just gonna flatten them again. Extra flat. Okay. All right. Let's set that aside just for a sec. I have a plastic bottle, and I'm gonna use this little piece of sponge, just a dish sponge that we cut, and we're gonna wrap it around here. This is what is what is gonna make it the wire stay in the bottle. So just kind of like a taco. Do you want to try doing it? Just wrap that around there like a taco. There we go. And then we're going to stick it in here. Oh yeah, it fits. Just going to nestle that in there. Probably don't want to stick it all the way down because I don't want my sponge to get trapped in the bottle. And you're going to try to make it, you want to make it so that the, the foil is not touching the side. You want it to kind of hang as freely as possible inside that bottle. Looks like we did a good job there. So now our electroscope is done and we are going to test it out. Now what an electroscope will do is it'll detect if something has an imbalanced electrical charge. So we need something with an imbalanced charge. So we can try different kinds of materials. To start, I've got a foam tray. And one, thing, one way we can get an imbalanced charge is to rub one thing against another thing. So we're gonna rub this against some wool. Do you want to do that? Okay. <laughs> rub, rub, rub. It helps when it's really dry out. And today is a nice dry day, so that's going to help. All right, I think our tray is charged up. So we're going to try it out. Uh, you can move it close to the wire without touching. See what happens. Even closer. We're going to watch that foil. That's what you want to be watching. You can kind of move it like 
What do you notice, Mallory? What? Look, look closely at the foil. What's the foil doing? The little bits of tin foil at the bottom. Oh yeah. What are they doing? Shaking. Shaking. They're moving, right? Yeah. Why don't we try a different material and have a closer look? Okay, so we're gonna try a different material and have a closer look. I have a balloon. What do you think I could rub this balloon against to get a uh, really good static electricity buildup? Ah, uh, that. Cool. You know what else you could do? What? I want to do it. <laughs> okay, you do it. Rub, rub, rub. Is your hair gonna stand on end? All right, pull it away. Let's see. Oh, your hair is standing up a little bit. All right, this balloon has a really good charge. Should we try it again with the electroscope? Yeah. All right, watch. Oh, it's already working and I'm holding it pretty far away. What happens if I get even closer? Look. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. It's totally working. So what happened with our electroscope? Well, the balloon or the foam tray is carrying an electrical charge. And when you hold it close, that electrical charge passes down the metal wire and to the pieces of foil. And the two pieces of foil will have the same charge, either negative or positive. And when you have two items with the same charge, they will repel or push away from each other. Uh, you may have noticed that before if you've ever tried playing with magnets and you try to stick them together like this and it's hard, they push away. Uh, the tin foil is doing the same thing, it's pushing away. Now, if you'd like to try to do a simpler version of this activity with materials that you might be more likely to have at home, you can try this. I have a bottle. You can use a water bottle. This is just a bottle of vinegar. Uh, it's got a plastic lid, so it's not conductive. And I'm going to stick a pencil on top. And we're going to get something with an electrical charge again. The balloon. Should I do it? No, I want to do it now. Okay, you try. All right, so same thing. You're going to touch the pencil without, I mean, sorry, not touch the pencil, move the balloon close without touching it and just experiment, see what happens. Oh, I, <laughs> I moved it without touching it. And it's the same thing. There's a charge, an electrical charge ooh, that is moving this pencil around. It's like magic. So that's an easy thing that you can do at home. Thanks for joining us today. So you can try these experiments at home or next time you're at Kidzoo, you can come to the Makery and have a look at some of our nice kits. Happy Static Electricity Day. Bye.